Welcome to our training video where we're going to go over our dual nozzle direct drive Axiom 3D printer. So first we want to go over some of the printer's anatomy, some of the components of the printer. Uh, we will go over the rear panel, the hot end, the heat bed, and then also the LCD screen. First thing that we want to do is to plug the printer in. We're going to start out with uh, the power supply. So we have our power cord, we're just going to plug it in here. And then here's the power switch, just give that a flip. It will take a second or two to boot up um, and get a reading on the LCD screen. If when you turn it on, that light doesn't come on the power switch. In between where the cord plugs in and the switch, there's a little door there's a fuse inside there for the power supply. So if that light doesn't illuminate when you turn it on, it's most likely gonna be that that fuse is blown. That's a real simple uh, fix, and that will be uh, addressed in a later video that you'll find in the comments section. Also on the back panel, we have our connectivity uh, ports. We have ethernet connection, so you can hardwire it into your network. And we have the two USB connections, um, one for the Wi-Fi card, the Raspberry Pi that's behind the back panel here. So you can do cloud printing. And then also uh, the USB-B port, where if you want to run your printer from your computer, uh, you would connect the USB cable there. When we're gonna be starting a print, First thing we have to do is to preheat the printer for the type of filament that we're going to be printing with. I have ABS filament, so I'm going to preheat the hot end and the bed for that filament. Go into the prepare menu, preheat ABS, and then I'm going to do preheat ABS all. You notice the LED dial gets illuminated red. It has a command, it's performing the function now. We have target temperatures for both nozzles, the right and left, of 240 degrees Celsius. The bed's target temperature is 120 degrees Celsius. It will take just a few moments for the hot end and the bed to come up to temperature. At this point, what I like to do is prepare my glass. I like to get a nice clean sheet of glass and put my Wolf Bite bed adhesion solution onto, uh, then load it onto the printer. So I have my sheet of glass here and I'm going to prepare it with our Wolf Bite solution for ABS. So now that I've got the Wolf Bite solution onto the glass, I'm going to go ahead and load the glass into the printer. Open the door, slide the glass in under the rails, and just push it all the way in. just about up to temperature. So what I'm gonna do now is get our spool holder onto the back of the printer and then start to load some filament. So here we have our spool holder and we're gonna attach the guide tubes to it. They are just a simple uh, push fitting. Put them in, press them, you'll feel it kind of slide in there. And now we're going to install the spool holder onto the printer just like that. And then next we are gonna load the filament onto the spool holder and then feed the filament down through the guide tubes. We have our blue ABS filament. We are going to load on now. And then 
just feed it through the top and then down through the guide tube. Get to the end and you'll want about a few inches just uh, sticking out there. We're gonna load the next spool of filament down. We've got our yellow spool. So now we're going to feed the yellow filament down through the guide tube until we see some filament coming out of the end. We are up to full temperature for both nozzles in the bed. We're now ready to load the filament into the hot end. How we do that, back at the Vicky, we're gonna give it a press and then go into the prepare menu. I'm gonna load the extruder number one, the primary, which is the left nozzle. Get my filament ready here. Extruder one, and then down to load filament. Give it a press. Just some firm pressure straight down. You'll feel the filament be grabbed by the hop bolt. Once you feel it start to be slowly pulled in, you can let go and let it finish uh, loading. You should see filament coming out, uh, being extruded down through the nozzle. I've got the yellow here. I'm gonna load that into the second extruder, the right one. Again, I'm gonna go into prepare menu, extruder two, load filament. Just again, some firm pressure straight down till you feel it being slowly pulled in. At this point, I did not see any filament coming out of the nozzles. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna prime the filament. I wanna make sure that I'm seeing for the primary nozzle, blue filament coming out. So we'll do that one first. I'm gonna go back into the prepare menu. Extruder one. This time down to prime filament. Each time I press it, it's just gonna send about five millimeters of filament down through. So you may need to press it several times. And now we're starting to see blue filament being extruded out of the primary nozzle. I'm gonna repeat this process for the secondary. So now we're gonna prime the secondary nozzle, the right nozzle. We wanna make sure that we're gonna see yellow filament being extruded out. So I am going to go back into prepare, choose extruder two, down to prime filament. And again, each press that I do, it's gonna send just a few millimeters of filament out at a time, and it's starting to come out. We should be all set. I'm just gonna open up the door, reach in, grab the yellow, grab the blue. Those are scraps now. At this point, we're going to be printing with ABS, so the dome for the printer should be on, which I'm going to do now. We have the dome here. It has a split in the back, so you can feed the guide tubes through. Dome just sits like that. At this point, we're going to be ready to run our first print, which um, I would suggest running one of our sample G-codes because we know that G-code is good. We print it all day, every day. So if you do encounter any issues, we can narrow it down that there's gonna be something wrong with the hardware and not the actual G-code print. I'm gonna be printing from the micro SD card. Load that into the LCD unit. Go down to change SD card. So it can read the files that are on there. Now up to print from SD. I've chosen my print here. 
I just give it a press. For this particular print, it starts out at the bed at 145 degrees Celsius. So the bed will heat up to that temperature. It will take a few moments. All right, so we've kicked off our uh, print. It is our uh, Axiom Dual Direct Drive final print found on the SD card that will come with your printer. So it's just uh, extruding a little bit, then retracting. Now we're gonna see the auto leveling process. The hot end, uh, once the bed comes up, the hot end will move to the back left and clean itself off on the brush. Knock off any little tails of filament there. And then after it cleans off on the brush, a few passes, we're gonna see the nozzle, the hot end, move around and to each of the four corners of the bed and the bed will come up and probe for the tip of the nozzle to make sure that we're at the proper distance uh, from the nozzles to the glass and it will do this before every print there will be no more manual uh, calibration of the um, nozzles to the bed. going to finish up uh, feeding the filament down into the nozzle here and kick off the print. What it's printing right now is the raft for this particular print. Uh, it's set up to print on the raft. And we'll get more into what the raft is uh, when we switch over to the software aspect of the training. I like to watch the print, um, at least the first layer, to make sure that we've got good adhesion of the filament to the glass, that we didn't miss any spots uh, when we were applying the wolf bite to the glass. Um, just make sure we've got good contact, everything's sticking. If you do run into any problems uh, at the beginning of the print, in the middle, towards the end, whatever, and you need to cancel the print, the recommended way to cancel is just hit the red reset button on the front of the LCD screen. That's going to basically do a hard reboot to the printer. It's going to turn off the heating elements. It's going to stop everything in its tracks. Um, if you happen to be at the rear of the printer when you need to stop it for whatever reason, you can flip the power switch off. You can also even just pull the, the cord out, um, the power cord, in the event that you do need to stop the print right away. So we're almost through with the first layer here on um, the first part. Again, this is our um, Axiom Dual Direct Drive Final Print. It prints the letter L out of the primary nozzle, the left nozzle, hence the L. After the L finishes printing, the hot end is going to move over to the uh, right side of the bed and print from the secondary nozzle, the right nozzle. It's going to print the letter R. So what I've got here is the Axiom Dual Direct Drive Manual and we're going to talk a little bit about the maintenance that you have to do with your printer. So we're going to go to page 38 of the manual and 
we're going to talk first about the glass, uh, the borosilicate glass that we print on. It, um, it is not covered under the normal warranty of your printer. Uh, just nature of the glass after the heated, repeated uh, heating and cooling cycles, it, it will um, possibly crack or chip. So the glass is rated for 75 to 150 print hours. Um, and at that point you would want to replace the glass because it does get brittle, like I said, after the repeated heating and cooling cycles. About every 100 to 200 print hours, you'll want to inspect the nozzles on your hot end to make sure that they're not showing any signs of excessive wear. Um, if that 0.5 millimeter uh, orifice that's on the nozzle um, should it become uh, worn out, that uh, the opening, the orifice of the nozzle could become a little bigger or smaller um, and, and would affect the quality of your prints. So again, every 100 to 200 print hours, uh, we'd like to have you at least inspect, if not replace the nozzles. And then the hot end with the heating element and the thermistor that's uh, inside there, uh, they're rated for 750 to 1500 print hours. And then also lubrication for your printer. We recommend every 100 to 150 print hours you get some white lithium grease that you can find at any auto parts store or home improvement store and you grease up the rods on the printer. There's going to be four smooth rods up on top for the hot end, two for the x-axis, two under each corner rail for the y-axis that you'll want to grease up. Then there's also the three vertical rods the two smooth rods in the right and left, and then the threaded Z-axis rod. My print finished overnight, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the parts from the glass, get the R out, and then grab the L, and we're just gonna remove the raft. Thank you for watching. Look in the video's description for links to some items that we've covered in this video, and stay tuned for more videos from Airwolf 3D.